Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is another football video, the third and final football video of the year. Uh, this is the Lehigh Mountain Hawks taking on the Holy Cross Crusaders on November 2nd, 2019. And I don't remember if this was... Nah, because they had the Lehigh Lafayette game. I was going to say, I don't remember if this was really the last home game or not, but it wasn't. Um, there was some free stuff to be uh, handed around. I don't remember if there was necessarily like a promotion or anything that day. Uh, it wasn't anything special because I would remember it. I think there was something, but it wasn't really that special if I don't remember it. Um, but yeah, um, first time at this stadium, obviously, so it's going to be a stadium tours video. Pretty cool stadium. And um, yeah, without giving away anything about the game, that's really all I have to say. Although... For football interest, I kind of need to drag it out because there's so much information that I need to put in uh, text here. So, um, the the stadium actually does not have lights, so that's very interesting. So all their games are home games, uh, and if it gets too dark, oh well, it gets called. That happened. I forget was it Dartmouth toward the end of the year as well, where they called or they didn't call. They went to like double overtime in the last game of the year, and like it was really dark because <laughs> they have no lights there so it seems to be a theme in uh in um i guess lower division one college football fcs so uh, anyway enjoy this patriot league matchup and of course as always timestamps will be when the game begins and when the stadium tour begins and you know all that so uh, anyway thanks for watching and enjoy the video
Valley for over 40 years and continues to give back to local schools and charities in addition to working towards a greener Lehigh. VSECU believes your money should stay where it belongs, with you. That's why they charge you, if any, fees. Become a member today. So once again perform, you can dance to the beat. Written by seniors Brianna Disco Jam Sharvat and Wendy Disco Jellies Coughlin and led by drum major Martha Disco Preserves Whitner. And now to honor the United States, its freedoms, and those who protect them, please remain standing as the Marching 97 will play our national anthem.
And here comes your Lehigh. Touchdown, ball will be marked at the four-yard line. Peter Oliver on the carry for Holy Cross. And Connor Dagenhart takes it in for a Holy Cross touchdown. Ings kick is up and good. Holy Cross jumps out on top, seven and nine. Oh, the kids like to be in there. Quick slam pass intended for George Porter Real and complete third down. Nate Hope on the carry for Lehigh. Oh. 
Pass intended for Alex Snyder, incomplete. Brought down by short pass complete to Puerto Royale, brought down by Miles Alexander. Pass intended for George Puerto Royale, incomplete. The eye turns the ball over on downs. for Holy Cross from the 10 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter and the Eugenia Mountain Hawks trail Holy Cross 7 to nothing. Oh, so close. Our second contestant is Ty. All right, Ty. Let's see what you got. And Ty's kick comes closest. So everyone in his row will win free Parmesan bread bites in his promotion courtesy of Domino's Pizza. up a Holy Cross first pass. But then, you know, nothing came out of it. Rozier run out of town. Rozier again on the carry, Keith Wetzel. Yeah. 
quarterback draw. Peter Oliver takes the handoff and takes it in for a Holy Cross touchdown. Flat to Nate Hope. Alex Snyder on the screen pass rumbles all the way down inside the 10 yard line. Nate Hope on the carry. Jacob Dobbs there to make the stop for the Crusade. George Porter Royale zigzags his way down to the one yard line. is up and through. Holy Cross now on top, 17 to 7 with 59 seconds to go in this first half of play. Pass intended for Nate Hope incomplete.
National Championship finalist football team. The 1979 Engineers finished with a 10-3 record, played in the National Championship game, and finished second nationally in the final rankings. This ECAC Team of the Year ranks fifth all-time in victories at Lehigh and will be remembered as one of the best defensive units in Lehigh football history. During the regular season, the defense allowed only seven points per game, ranking them first nationally. Among the 10 victories were a 17-3 win over New Hampshire, a 24-3 victory over Lafayette, and a 28-9 win over Murray State University. All-Americans Jim McCormick and Dave Malone led the defense and offense respectively, while four others earned all ECAC honors. In attendance today is Mrs. Bernice Whitehead, wife of the legendary head coach John Whitehead, who has supported the I football for 55 years. We also remember deceased coach Barry Fetterman and teammates Jim Balbacher, Steve Plusinski and Paul Brooksells, who passed away well before their time. In attendance today for the 1979 coaching staff is former coach and current Dean of Athletics, Joe Sturrett, and 50 former players. Those players include captain, All-American, and member of the Lehigh Athletics Hall of Fame, Jim McCormick. <laughs> Captains Rich Andrus and Eric Yazemski. All-American Dave Malone. Paul Anastasio. Rick Adams. John Eisler. Russ Becker. Jeff Bernstein. John Butkus. Ron Carr. Keith Conley. Mike Crow, Pete DeLuca, Jeff Dunn, Peter Garibaldi, Kevin G-Man Green, Bill Glenn, Ted Yokes, Joe Kalanick, Pat Lacey, Joe Mesolara, Rick Manning, Charlie Mark, Sean Merck, Peter Mercury, Larry Milchowski, Larry Miskevich, Matt Morgan, Mike Newburn, Chris Nielsen, Tom Nichols, Bob Palsgrove, Bruce Rarick, Vince Rogowski, Bob Romeo, Ken Rosen, Mike Roos, Frank Rudisel, Joe the Hawk Shire, Mark Sitar, Pete Smith, Keith Stern, David Bolowalski, Rich Titus, Michael Tui, Wayne Burroughs, Michael Whaling, Don Whiting, and Mark Yeager. And led by Captains Rich Andrus, Jim McCormick, and Eric Yazemski, please welcome once again with a huge round of applause your 1979 Division I AA National Championship finalists. Jalen Floyd on the return for Lehigh, stopped by Corey Stefanik. Oh, 
I don't know. Caleb Floyd on the return, brought down by Kendrick Knight. Fumble on the play, recovered by Holy Cross. Here on the run. Oh. Riley O'Neill providing the pressure on quarterback Connor Dick. Ings kick is up and good. Holy Cross on top now, 24 to 7 with 11.39 to go. Lehigh University PD, Officer Dagnall, Lehigh University PD, Trisha Fossil, EMT, John Duffy, EMT, and Ronald Triani, U.S. Navy veteran. So pods released and intercepted by the Mountain Hawks. Oh, 
on it, but he's out. Pass caught out of bounds, incomplete. Fourth and nine. left upright, no good, so the score remains 24-14, Holy Cross. That's the end of the ball game. Holy Cross will prevail 24-17 over Lehigh. Assistance back to your vehicle. 
BI Transportation Services will be running for the next half hour. Okay, so this is everything gone from the Lehigh game on November 2nd against Holy Cross. Um, yeah, got some big stuff here. Not a whole lot of stuff, just big stuff. And there is one thing in here that I didn't actually get at the stadium, but I bought afterward, and that's this shirt over here. We'll get into that in a bit. So let's start off with this stuff. Uh, so we have the $14 ticket here bought it there so it's more expensive day of as you can see and uh yeah that's basically the ticket stub you have an ad that doubles as a coupon which is actually still good until june 30th and then the front just has this lehigh logo in the background that's kind of slowly fades out as it moves to the right and there are some giveaways here um i don't know if you would necessarily call these giveaways they were free but, you know, it's one of those things where you walk up to the tent and it's like, here, have this free thing. Uh, so here is the Lehigh Mountain Hawks football um, schedule. I, w I was going to say pocket schedule, but it's not really a pocket schedule. It's more of just, you know, I don't know, a card sort of thing. And then there's one of the players on the front, of course, number 21. And here is your uh, full schedule on the back. So there you go. And we have the same thing for women's basketball, which is also there. They also had wrestling, but I didn't pick that one up because obviously I don't really follow wrestling. So, uh, they, but they did have this women's basketball one, so I did pick this one up as well. You have kind of a bunch of pictures there. And of course, the schedule here on the back. So, and the other big thing, as you can see here, this was also free. This is a poster um, of number 19 be great then you have the lehigh logo uh under armor uh says something on the side self-awareness what does it say over here success toughness uh competitive legacy team first integrity uh, and then coordinated health ps ecu some sponsors and um i never realized you can <laughs> that's kind of cool actually I like i'm sure it's edited but you can see the reflection of the stadium full uh, Lehigh in the background on his uh, face mask there. So that's cool. And his visor, rather. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And obviously, it's a poster. Uh, and then you also have the schedule over here. And with each opponent, you have their uh, helmet, too. So that's the game that I saw, Holy Cross. They only had a couple games after that. Then Service Electric and then Radio Ad. So that's pretty cool, especially to have for free. Uh, the other two things, got this there. This is a hat, simple, uh, just the logo on it. Didn't get anything that was specific to football um, because the only thing that, they did have a hat that said Lehigh Football, but I'd rather have the logo. Uh, if you saw my Princeton video, I kind of regretted not just getting a Princeton logo hat, but, you know, I did get, I did kind of follow that standard for this one. Just went with the regular logo hat, Lehigh on the back. Uh, kind of a tan brim and a darker brown rest of the hat. So this is, let me actually clear this off just for room. Uh, so this is what I got online. This is the Lehigh um, Mountain Hawks shirt that I got. Um, now they did have a tent full of shirts and stuff. Um, but literally it was mostly like sweatshirts and stuff. And it was honestly kind of a huge tent, but they didn't have a lot of selection. The only actual shirt that was in my size, that's another thing. A lot of it was not in large, which is pretty common size and the size I take. But for some reason, they didn't have that a lot. And the only one that looked interesting to me that actually said like Lehigh football or something along those lines on it um, was, of course, too big. So, um, so I ended up getting this shirt online. It's weird. I assume it's just the company that they use, but obviously Lehigh, about an hour away from me, um, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Um, but when this shipped, it came all the way from Texas. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, it's a charcoal color, as the website said. And you have this, I was going to say glittery, but not really glittery. You have this gold uh, football outline, then Lehigh logo in the middle. And in uh, this dark brown, you have Lehigh. And then in more of a tan, just like the football color, you have football. So, and that's re really it. <laughs> the rest of it is just that charcoal gray color. 
Um, and yeah, so that is everything gotten from Lehigh uh, against Holy Cross. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the last football game of the year. We have a lot of hockey stuff coming up and a little bit of basketball too. So um, stay tuned for that. And other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you all later.